DDG, go to seek custody, 50-50 custody of your kid. So you don't have to worry about this BS when it comes to your baby mom. Hey beautiful people, how are you all doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So Halle Bailey is being tagged the angry baby mama that is snapping. So, which I'm going to break down the entire story for you because people are saying that she's the angry baby mama towards DDG. If you don't know what's happening, I'll break it down and I'll let you know what's going on. If you don't know who Halle Bailey is, please Google it. If you don't know who DDG is, please Google him. He's an upcoming rapper and a content creator, a YouTuber, a streamer. He's all the businessman and all that. So, their relationship has always been public and a lot of people have so much to say because of the dynamic of their relationship. But what is happening now is that people are having the conversation, talk, calling Haley the hangry baby mama because now they're broken up. And Haley is trying to set boundaries for their son not to be online. But hold on, I'm going to break down everything that happened. So this is what happened, which I'm going to take it from the top. We guys all remember that when Haley and um, DDG got together, a lot of people have so much to say about their relationship. A lot of people felt like she dated down. And now that they now have a son, even when she got pregnant and she was hiding the pregnancy, a lot of people have so much to say. People were suggesting that she was pregnant, but she hid the entire pregnancy, even though DDG was giving a sneak peek on his blog, because he's a content creator, he's a vlogger on YouTube. And giving birth to this child, their son, and Harley was kind of hiding him, and the next thing, DDG put him up on his vlog, kind of got a lot of people talking. And this has also sparked the uh, conversation that probably that could be one of the reasons why they broke up because Harley wants a private life for their son, but DDG wants to put their son online. But there's oh, DDG always film Hello, their son's name is Hello, always film him, he's always online. People, there's a lot of clips about him online okay so what happened in this recent one that got Halle to really snap and respond online and kind of drag ddg was the fact that ddg went to kaisina's live stream kaisina is a big live streamer on twitch he's like he's massive 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 everybody wants to be on kaisina's live stream so ddg being a content creator that he is called out Kaisina because they are obviously their friends and he was calling out Kaisina that oh you promised to be a good godfather to um, my son Hello. now Hello is there you've not done anything for him that's what said the whole thing and Kai was like you know what uh, okay I did say I was going to be a godfather I said I was going to be an uncle but uh, I have to do something about it it's true this boy is 10 months old and yet I haven't like really done anything for this boy I claim he's also my son I'm his uncle so Kai kind of invited um, DDG and Hello to his house and Kai is doing like a marathon where he's streaming his entire life the whole day what he's do just streaming everything and um ddg was there ddg came in with hello to see him and he gave hello a whole lot of gifts why this live stream was going on so apparently it seems like people were selling it to Halle and Halle was not having it Halle was like you know what i don't like my son being online and she went on the Twitter rant calling out DDG for exposing their son online that she doesn't like. Let's see the live stream and then we'll see Harley's tweet. Well, you see, but you should be. Oh, that's fire. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so look. Jay, okay, where's my gift? Hello. You don't know. <laughs> Hello, you don't know. I'm your uncle. So I got some stuff for you, okay? What do you give me? And, and, and I got more, and I got more stuff for you on the way. Okay. All right. 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 Like throughout, like throughout the month, type throughout the month, I'm making sure that he gets good. Cause you feel I'm, I'm like tapping it in with him for the month. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm your uncle, so it's my duty to be there for you. Okay. Here we go. Woo! Hey, hey, let's get the first bag going. Let's get the first bag going. So that's a sneak peek of the live stream, and that did not sit well with Harley. And Halle had to respond to it, and that really got me. Okay, so this one says, hi, everyone. Just so you know, I am out of town, and I don't approve of my baby being on the stream tonight. I wasn't told or notified, and I am extremely upset to have my baby in front of millions of people. I am a mother, a protector, and suddenly that I wasn't notified, especially when I'm out of town. And she really went on, on a rant. She went on to say, you know what, as a mother... This is another tweet. Said, say, as a mother experiencing postpartum, there are boundaries that I wish to be respected. Nobody knows what someone is going through until they snapped. 
By the time she posted those two posts, she got a lot of backlash. People were having the conversation because she was saying that why would DDG put her online? And for me, I don't know, is that valid? Let me know if you think that it's valid for her to be upset that DDG, which is also the father of this child, is on live stream with their baby and without notifying. Do you think that it's not a big deal? Do you think it's a big deal? Let me know your own take on this. So by the time some people were calling her out of it and she decided to drop another tweet and she said yesterday maybe i did overreact and should have brought this year i know that halo is always safe with his dad just don't like finding out with the rest of the world what my baby is doing thank you kai for the gift from halo so that was our response to the entire thing but people were not here for it people are reacting to a tantrum or will i say a reaction have been upset that ddg who is a content creator is out putting out their song without her being notified on a live stream and all that. So let's go check out people's response. I want to know your own take down in the comment section. So let, let me know down your take. So let's go check out people's response to this and then we'll come back and talk more. And when it comes to Hallie and DDG, I think that y'all really need to stop playing it crazy and act like y'all don't understand where she's coming from. How would you feel if you're scrolling and you see your child on a platform like Kaisenet? That is not a platform for a child. Did he not just have someone throwing up and catching a what in his mouth? Why would you want your baby on that? And I feel like DDG should be thinking the same thing. He should. He could have went to that stream by himself. He did not need his baby. He did not need Halo to go with him. That is not a place you bring a baby. And I think that's just like not something that you should have to tell a dad. Like I don't. I don't know. And I think like the problem comes in. Hallie didn't know that her baby was gonna be on the stream. Y'all think that was something that she would have just let fly? And stop playing it like y'all don't understand where she's coming from because y'all would be just upset if your baby dad put your baby on a platform where like people be doing. Hallie, why are you telling us? What are we supposed to do about that? My thing is, why does she have to announce and let us know that she doesn't approve with her boundaries being crossed by DDG? Message him. That's your man, your baby daddy. I, don't, I just don't understand why she felt the need to announce this. And then when she got the reaction that she got, she deleted all her social media accounts. And my thing is, don't be mad at me, but when you choose to have a baby by a professional clout chaser, why are you shocked when he is clout chasing? This man streams and vlogs his whole life for a living. I don't know what else she expected. She, listen, she has every right to not want her child's baby to whatever. But why are you telling us this message? <laughs> The only thing this does to Hallie is making her not look like the amazing star that she is. These online back and forths that some women choose to have with their baby daddies on social media, like famous women, it just lowers our view of, you know? Like she is too up here to be going through this. I mean, nobody should be going through this, period. But you know what I mean. I just feel like... Kylie's not wrong for feeling the way she feels. Like, Kai literally just had his house swatted. So I wouldn't want my child around that area either. And then y'all gotta think, maybe she did text him and maybe he was ignoring her. So she went ahead and posted on social media. So, oh yeah, now you got my attention type. And I feel like Kai's stream is low-key like a different scenery, to be honest. Like, it's not a place for kids, I guess. But then Hallie also has to think, like, is she really letting that man know every single time she's going to the park and doing yoga with Halo? Like, but I still understand what she's trying to say because I wouldn't want my child in a atmosphere like that. That house was just swatted. I don't know. Maybe it would be different if Kai did baby kid content and stuff, but... I don't think he really does that, honestly. This message is for Diddy. DDG. Go to seek custody. 50-50 custody of your kid. So you don't have to worry about this BS when it comes to your baby mom. Okay? Because what they can do, they can take your kid away from you if you don't get the courts involved. And I know you love your baby mama and you want to be with your baby mama, but y'all clearly have split differences when it comes to Halo being seen on the internet. Now, I don't know why, because she shows the baby just as well. Okay? But she clearly wants to have control and she clearly uses your kid against you. So go to court, 
get your rights as his dad, not to hurt her, but to solidify who you are in that child's life. So you don't have to worry about this shit in the future. I'm telling you, you don't want to be one of those dads that want to be a part of their kid's life and they can't because they have a bitter baby mama. I'm not saying that's how Hallie is, but what she did yesterday proves that she ain't as innocent as she's claimed to be. And as far as I know, you've only ever protected her image as well. Yes, you talk a lot, believe me, but you only have ever specified your part in whatever any y'all BS was and you always defend her. And for her to use her fan base against you to attack you, young man, go get your rights protected. Do you hear me? Okay. Listen to me, Didi. As a mother, I do not play around when it comes to my child. As a mother, I do not play around when it comes to my child. Y'all are tripping off of that Hallie tweet. She really didn't say anything crazy because y'all would hate to hear how talk when i don't like something when it involves my child i've been to the court she need to go to the court uh, i've been to the court that man is not allowed to leave the dc metropolitan area without telling me if he's taking my son oh you're going two hours away oh you're going to ocean city he has to tell me he has to tell me so you're telling me that a i don't even think the baby is a year is he a year old yet you're telling me he's going to be at some random man's house with a whole bunch of grown men that Holly doesn't know, and you expect her to be okay with that, and then he's in front of several millions of people. Oh, Y'all are okay with that? No. I feel like she underreacted. Underreacted. Hey, listen, I'm going to just say this. To the ones that's agreeing with Holly's reaction to Halo being on Kai's stream, you don't need to have kids ever. Like, ever. Because there's no way y'all are trying to make DDG seem like a bad father. Like he's putting Halo in harm's way. When DDG has been a father for X amount of time. So I know the number one thing, his number one priority on his list is to never put himself or his family in danger. So the ones that's on there like, oh, he could have just let Holly know that he was going to be on stream. Why does he have to let Holly know? what he's doing with his child as long as he's not putting his child in harm's way or in any danger why does he have to let her know and she is out of town i'm pretty sure if the shoe was on the other foot ddg would not be caring about holly being on somebody's podcast like with halo with him it does not it's not that deep she made it that deep and like everybody's been saying bro she could have easily text that to ddg she tweeted that on purpose i know y'all not that Messed up where y'all can't text each other when y'all co-parents. And like, come on, bro. That was a bitter baby mama move. And that's what a lot of women do once they become a single mom. Like, and this ain't no disrespect to her, you feel me? But at the same time, to the women that's agreeing with it, saying that's the same thing you would have did and how you would have carried out, this is exactly why women don't ever learn because other women like applaud it and it keeps going for generations and generations. So Hallie is very upset that DDG brought Halo to Kaisen at stream. She tweeted that she was not notified and she's very sad that she was not made aware of the situation. She says that, you know, Kaisen has millions of followers. So she doesn't really want her baby on that platform. And I totally understand. I feel like he should have ran it by her first and made her aware that this is something that he wanted to do. Everybody's like, oh, Hallie has 9 million followers and she posts her baby all the time. But I think it's completely different taking a baby to a live stream, comments going 10 miles, 10,000 miles a minute. Um, and, you know, the baby's just there. She's finding out with the whole world that her baby was on his stream. I think that's unacceptable. And everybody's like, oh, she knows who she had a baby with, a content creator, but still, he should have told her. And I don't know if he did that to be petty, but yeah, he got to make that shit right because... That's going to be difficult. Shit already happened, right? I see a lot of people talking about the Halle Bailey and DDG situation. And personally, I don't really blame her for kind of freaking out a little bit. Because people are like, well, like she be posting TikToks with him and they be having videos with him. But the thing is, like, YouTube videos and TikToks are different from a live stream. Especially... A live stream that's as big as Kai Sinat's 
Um, like, and we always talk about like the safety of like children on the internet. And a live stream can be very unpredictable. Like just things can just happen. So, you know, if she didn't approve of him being on the live stream, I get why she was a little bit upset about that because probably people text her like, oh, I see your baby on, on Kai's live stream right now. Like, I'm sorry, what? I'd freak out if I found out that my daughter was on somebody's live stream and like thousands, if not millions of people were watching. Like, I think it's a normal reaction. And so I, I just feel like a lot of people are missing that part of it. But, I mean, I guess Hallie got back online again and kind of like apologized. But still, I kind of understand where she was coming from. What Haley Bailey did, or Holly Bailey, or, I'm sorry, I, I'll be forgetting how to pronounce her first name. But in any regard, what she did yesterday was try to weaponize her fan base against ddg because she knows that her fan base is full of women who already don't like him because they feel as if she lowered herself to be with him even though he was making hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars off of youtube and streaming before he even got with her but that's a conversation for another day and it's really a prime example of what a lot of women will do once the relationship goes sour she had no problem with him showing off that baby all over social media and she had no problem showing off that baby all over social media until they broke up now it's a problem but my thing is why aren't you resolving this in family court instead of trying to garner vitriol towards him via social media it's pretty evil i think hallie being upset that her baby halo is on live stream with kai sanat and ddg is completely valid um, i mean she's been very frank about how she would like to keep her baby being public minimal but um when he's always with the dad for some reason his face is always being shown and it seems to be disregarded the wants of hallie so her being upset that once again him not respecting it especially when she's not in town and not even notifying her is like completely valid but to like add a little bit of more like context because i feel like you guys are being a little too harsh on her and not at all seeing her point of view but given what just happened to Cardi B this week, that her daughter was um, depicted in CP with her own father, I could see why Hallie would be concerned and or wanting to be conservative when it comes to showing and, and just putting, blasting her child on the internet. Like, she's trying to be safe about it, especially given what is ha and has been going on. Um, but it seems like anything that this woman does, anything a black woman does, period, is just freaking eaten up and you guys just love to shit on us. <laughs> and I just want us to have some grace because she is saying that she is a woman that is dealing with postpartum and the least, the least to make that easier for her to deal with that that man could do is respect the boundaries that she is setting, that she believes is protecting her child and he can't even do that. Hallie, I would be on your side if you didn't make an agreement originally with DDG that you want to put your baby online. We all knew that you did not want your baby to be online for real, but you were doing it because, you know, DDG has always dreamed to have a content baby and he was not going to let you come in between that. So, okay, you gave in. Cool. And not, not only that, not only did you let him post him online, you started posting him in music videos. You started posting him on Instagram. You also started posting him on Snapchat. So, it's like, these are all social media platforms that are available to millions and millions of people what you claim in your tweet is what you like were afraid of or what you didn't approve of which in my opinion is i hate to put that bitter baby mama on you which i really don't want to i don't think it's given that but why all of a sudden y'all break up now it's a problem that he's on stream when y'all agreed that okay we're no longer gonna hide our baby we're gonna put him on display which i do feel like it's successful sometimes i don't feel like the baby need to be on snapchat every day i don't feel like i should be able to go to snapchat every day and see your baby but at the same time, you gave him permission when y'all was together. Now you're no longer his bitch. He's not about to come to you. Oh, you feel me? Can I do this with my son that I'm taking care of that we all know DDG loves dearly? So I don't, I don't know, Bookie. I it, was this a bad breakup? Did he lie to us? Cause I know he's a liar. I'm, I know. But did he lie to us? Did like?
over because if that's the case then like maybe my my perspective will change and then maybe i understand why you want a little bit more control but if it's such a good end and breakup as y'all say it is why is all of this happening on twitter and why are you confronting us instead of your baby daddy Okay, so now I want to touch on the topic of Haley and DDG. Okay, y'all keep saying, you know, you know, he should have just told her, he should have just told her, he should have just told her. Like, let's be real. When it comes to parents and it comes to co-parenting, why do the moms feel like when the dad has the child, they ha the dad has to tell them literally every single detail of what they're doing with the baby. Because I'm pretty sure when Haley has the baby and she's doing whatever and she's going about, she's not updating him on every single place that she's taking that child. So that is his baby just as much as it is her baby. So if he didn't feel like he needed to notify her, then he just didn't feel like he needed to notify her. It's no different than when moms are out and about and they're doing their thing and they're not like, oh, me and little Juju, we're, we're going here right now. Oh, me and little Juju, we're about to head here right now. No, y'all go on about y'all day. She was out of town handling her business. The baby is with the dad. Y'all talking about y'all act like y'all don't know Kaz house. That's why they blah, blah, blah. Did the baby get hurt? Did the baby get hurt? The baby did not get hurt, first of all. Secondly, stop having babies with people that you have to question all the time. Exactly. Stop having babies with people that you have to question all the time when they have the baby. If you feel like you got to be a helicopter mom and you got to police everything, just take the baby with you. Just always keep the baby and keep the baby with you. If you got to monitor everything. That boy was with his dad, period. That boy was with his dad. That baby was not in any harm's way. Moms do not need to know every little detail when the child is with the other parent. That is their other parent. They can make just as many decisions as the mom. This is why it's the stigma that every time when, when, when the parents break up, y'all feel like the kid got to go with the mom all the time. No, that. he was chilling. Him and his son was out and they was on a live stream. And y'all talking about his house could have got swatted, blah, blah, blah. She, that wasn't even her concern. Her concern was he didn't pick up the phone and call her and tell her what he was doing with his son. And I'm here to say she didn't, he didn't have to. If he didn't want to tell her, he didn't have to because he's with the baby and he is overseeing the child and handling the child the way he needs to handle the child because she's out of town working. Leave these dads alone and let them do what they do with their kids. And she could keep us out in group chat. We don't give a call you and tell you that the baby was on the live stream we don't care call that cuss him out about it he don't give a he gonna do nothing but do it again y'all be wasting y'all energy with this type of shit he had his son he's bonding with his son he took his son where he was going the baby was safe end of story there, there's nothing else that needs to be said. She did not need to be notified, in my opinion. She did not need to be notified. That's just my opinion. I have kids. When my kids go with their dad, they go with dad. I don't keep picking up the phone and calling, where y'all at? What y'all doing? Don't have my baby here. Don't have my baby there. Don't do if, if it's all that rules, then my baby don't need to do with them. That's their dad. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Let me know what you think about people's opinion. What happened? Do you think that um, DDG needs to tell Hallie every time Elo is with him? Do you think so? Or do you think that oh, um, Hallie was overreacting? Let me know your own take down in the comment section. But with the entire people calling out Hallie and all that, DDG decided to speak up. And this is what DDG has to say about the entire situation. So it's like, 
it is what it is. But one thing I don't like when people do, I don't like when people hate on Hallie. I don't care if people think she wrong or not, or if I think she wrong or right. She could be going through something mentally after having a kid that I can't understand as a man. So when situations like this happen, I ha I try to handle it with as much grace as possible because Halo needs her, you know. I need her. We we need each other to create a a childhood that's safe and fun and memorable for him. And Halo is the biggest blessing in my life. Like I I don't know. Like I don't remember what life was like before Halo, and I wouldn't have him if it wasn't for Hallie. And for that reason alone, like I got unconditional love and respect for her that nobody can really change. And y'all got to understand, we're going through a very different transition right now. We only been parents for 10 months. Now we going through like a little breakup, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all got to understand we going through something, you know, that's a little, you know, it's hard for us. So when little stuff like this happen, it's really nothing. People go through this type of stuff all the time. I just don't appreciate when people try to put me against her or it's like me versus her and all of this and she's wrong and he's right, blah, blah, blah. Like, y'all can hate on me for as long as y'all want, but leave Hallie alone, man. Yeah. Mentally, y'all don't know what she's going through when it comes to postpartum. She just pushed the whole human out. She's dealing with a whole new life. Like, she has to put everything, you know, not on pause but she has to always consider halo in every situation i do too but you know as a mother i know it's way more detrimental so i got way thicker skin my skin is just overly thick when it comes to online backlash but i know for her it's something very very new and i just i'm just asking y'all just to chill and let's go back to regular scheduled programming like no one's perfect we are only humans so i just don't like it don't like it y'all that doesn't do me any good whatsoever me and her getting into it is no good for nobody either one of us so we are family that is my family forever and um we gonna figure it out plain and simple okay. um, with that being said we're gonna get back to the smiles and okay so that was ddg's response i really want to know your own take on this first off like i said before let me know do you think that Halle was trying to weaponize our audience against ddg and it backfired second do you think that she was right saying that ddg should have called her do you think that every like in situations like this that the father does not have to respond to whatever the mom and what do you think about ddg's response to the entire drama so go down in the comment section share your thoughts but as always please keep it respectful here on this channel we're allowed to disagree but we do it in a respectful way so go ahead feel free share your thoughts okay so um here's my thought on the entire situation i personally i feel like Hallie knows what she was doing when she brought it online. I know like if you're in a relationship, you have your issues, especially when you have a child with someone is a different ballgame. So when you have issues, I personally, I believe that you should just pick up the phone and call the person directly so that you guys, but when I see people, especially celebrities, popular people, influencers, rather than call the other person and hatch it out, rather you're coming online to rant. For me, it just makes me give you the side there. And Ali has always been looked as the good girl and all that. I'm very quiet, calm, collected. But to see her respond like that for me, I'm just like, what was the reason? Even if DDG is not even picking your call or he you're blocked, you will still have access to your child, which you know you have access to him. Like we always say, when you have a child with someone, that gives free access between both of you for the rest of your life. So why don't you just wait? Then why did you have to bring it online for people? Especially when she knows very well that people really don't like her and DDG being together. And the fact that now, after having a child, they broke up. She doing that for me. I'm just like, why? And um, people saying the conversation of should the father always tell the mother. Where I, for me personally... I don't feel so. I feel like when it comes to, especially women, I know, yes, 
we are the ones that carry the pregnancy, give birth to the child. There's this unexplainable bond between you and the child. But also, I also believe that that cannot be taken. But also, I also believe that it's an equal parenting right, and sometimes it should be allowed. In society, we hardly see fathers that are hands-on, that the mother can actually travel, like she said, she's out of town, travel and leave the child. With that means, to a large extent, she has a very strong confidence and feel very sure that her son will be okay, Halo will be okay. But so for you, for this to be able to be that father, we all know we have a lot of men that are incompetent. They can't stand their child. They can't stand their own child. They can't take care of the child. But this is a very hands-on, very active father in their son's life. So for me, you should be able to be in that place where you are at peace with whatever you knowing that he's not the most important thing that he will never put his own son in danger. He will want to make the best decision that fits him. That's one. Then another thing is that Hallie knows exactly what she was getting herself into when she chose to date DDG. DDG has always been a streamer, a prankster, a YouTuber, online personality that people know for his elaborate um prank and even vlogs and all that so for you to get with somebody and you kind of even when she was trying to hide the pregnancy did you was one vlogging she was in the vlog and some of those things people were able to put it out with ddg's online videos so i don't know what she was expecting coming into the situation or even having a child in this situation and not expect this ddg's nephew nieces they're all over online so what makes it feel what makes her feel like she's going to have it private i feel like when you want to be in a relationship, especially as a woman, you have to ask yourself equal, like you have to be of equal yoke. Like if you and that person doesn't have the same core values as being private and all that and all that, you need to ask yourself like, what can you do with it? Like I personally, you guys know I'm married. I know that my husband is a very private, non-social media person. He's not ready to discuss his life with anybody. And I'll be able to find the balance. I know this is me. I'm very comfortable with people, talking to people, sharing my story. But every time I share my story, I don't share. So he knows exactly what he was getting himself into when we were together. He knows I'm a very open book to people. I always want to share a story. I always want to support women. He knows that. So imagine now he's not telling me that, oh, he's a private person, so I should not share my thoughts. He doesn't like my thoughts, even though he does not agree with some of the things I say. Yes, my husband sometimes of things he doesn't agree with it. But he knows the person that he was getting in with. And so I feel like with Hallie, she should know what she's getting herself with. These people are DDG's friends. She's going to hang out with them. Even She will even hang out with them while he was with him. So why now it's almost like, oh, you should have told me and all that. And then come to the internet to let everybody know that DDG didn't tell her for me. That just giving me like the side I like why are you doing that and this is why when we talk here on this channel we talk about how women should be very intentional about who they choose to have kids with and why they should have kids when should they should have kids because this doesn't even make sense hello is barely a year and even the relationship is gone even though DDG is saying that it's a little to break up and all that but there is a break somewhere and the fact that you choose to have a child with a relationship that there might be a break even though I know, yes, marriage can end in divorce, but this is why we said be very, very intentional about having kids. And I know she is. I think she is. But, yeah, this is what you sign up for. Um, as for DDG's response, I believe that it was very mature. He knows the internet. He knows how to play on the internet. But I feel like he was genuinely honest when he says that he will always have Ali in his life and... He will always love her. And the fact that she even, I forgot, I'm not, I didn't touch the part about the postpartum. It is valid. Her emotions about that is valid. That sharing that, like, it's valid. A lot of women do have the postpartum and all that. Um, that may be the friction they have in their marriage because most women usually say that that affects them. And as a woman that has pushed an entire human being out of her, your body never remains the same. Your body never, ever, ever remains the same. You look at yourself in the mirror. Sometimes you don't like it. Like... You question yourself, you question your sanity, you question who you are. Then even having the child to take is a different ballgame. So I kind of understand that. So like I was saying about DDG's response to this, it seems very genuine. And I agree with a lot of the things he said. Harley will always be in his life. Um, people should stop pitching them for all oh, this and that. Oh, this one was wrong, one was right. Yes, even though I just gave my opinion, okay. But it's their life, it's their baby. 
they can do whatever they want to do with him and it's fine let them disagree for me is i don't bring it on the internet we bring it on the internet we're going to talk about it so this is just have to understand that she brought it to the internet and that's why we are talking about it anyway guys please let me know what you think about this story down in the comment section share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here we have a banging conversation so go on and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to push out my content for more people to see. And that will be you supporting this channel and this girl here. So go on and do that. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Do see.